No way. Oh, yes. Good fish. Got him. Got him. Ah. That, my brother, might be a $15,000 fish. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for some redfish? I'm a Louisiana redfish right there. Woo! Four more to go with this one, fellas. We'll make it a competition. We're going to read your scales and lock you in at $26.97. That's your winner. Located just 45 minutes from downtown Houston on beautiful Galveston Bay, Kima, Texas is an outdoor lover's paradise. With thrilling amusement rides, unique stores, and waterfront restaurants, there's plenty to do for the casual visitor. But just off the boardwalk, the water's teeming with some of the best Good red fish. fishing in the country. That's what I'm looking for. The best redfish anglers in the world are gathered here this week to battle it out on the hot Gulf Coast waters at the Elite Redfish Series Skeeter Western Division opener. Fishing has been good for the angler so far, with a few great weights coming across the scales over the past two days of competition. Day one leader, Dwayne Eshin, jumped into the lead with nearly 25 pounds of Gulf Coast redfish. 22, Followed closely by for Mike Frenette with his 22 pound bag. But as the weather shifted going into day two, so did the leaderboard. Heavy winds threw many anglers pre-tournament plans out the window, making it hard to hold on to the prime spots they'd hoped to use to move on to the final day. What drop? It ain't even a redfish. While some anglers struggled, others made big runs to calmer waters. Biggest thing right now is the wind's blowing. I'm a sight fisherman, so I'm going to find shallow water. I want to be able to see the fish I'm catching and be able to throw to them and watch that fish eat. Oh, yeah. What I'm doing is I'm actually seeing the fish, and I'm sight fishing them, and I'm tossing to them and it's just a slow roll getting that bait in the front of the fish and getting a reaction strike. I just went back and done what I do. I traveled a little ways to go do it, but it was worth it. Yes. Good. Right under 28, that's a heavy fish. Dwayne Eshe's long run paid off, and he brought another big limit of redfish to the scale, maintaining his lead going out on day three. But moving up the leaderboard right behind him is local pro Jimmy Lloyd in second. Steve Auld also brought in a good limit and moved into third. Rookies to the series, Jake Jordan and Alan Hall round out the top five for the final day. After two challenging days of fishing, the field is set with the final five anglers. It means the world to me to be here in top five in my first event. It's wild. Nerves are high, even as final preparations are being made that fit their own strategy for how they'll approach the day's fishing. I've guided out of this area, out of Galveston Bay, since uh, 1996, so I mean, I, I should know where everything's at, but the way the weather's been, uh, this is about the best stuff I've found. Today, I'm gonna go throw some gulp, throw some jigs on the bottom, and just let it sit. And I hope they're hungry. If, it, if it'll slack off and get right, we'll do some schooling, fishing. If it stays blown like it is, we're gonna hug some rocks and pound on them until we get three bites. Going to the marsh, try to find what I've been finding. I, I'm swinging for the fence, but I'm going for it. It paid off so far, just gotta keep doing what I've done to get to where I'm at. All right, here we go. The leader after both days of the competition so far, the Yamaha Pro is taking a big gamble again with a nearly 90 mile run across the bay to find the shallow marsh waters he's built his confidence with.
Jimmy Lloyd, one of three local anglers in the top five, takes a more practical approach, moving up into North Galveston Bay to find his fish. Fortunately for me, I grew up here, and so I do have some local knowledge. It just didn't make sense to, to make a run and lose the fishing time with conditions going to be what they are. It's a decision. I mean, tournaments are won and lost on the decision you make when you leave the ramp, you know. If you make the right call and everything works out, it'll work out for you. Good fish. That's a good one. Just like that. Dwayne ain't even met his fish yet. He's still running. We're catching. We're catching, baby. 25, probably seven pounds. Maybe six and three quarter. That work. Good fish. Good fish. Skeeter, setting the standard in the bay with unleashed reliability, power, ingenuity, and innovation. Skeeter bait boats have a distinctive V shape, but also drafts very shallow so you can get to the fish. Engineered like no other, our SX Series bay boats provide a smooth and reliable ride. Awarded 16 consecutive NMMA CSI Customer Satisfaction Awards. Visit your local Skeeter dealer and see why we set the standard in comfort and style in the bay. At Yamaha, reliability is a family tradition. Meet the next generation. Four new advanced technology-inspired inline four-cylinder performers. Bred from the reliability and boater satisfaction that is part of Yamaha's DNA, they prove that when power gets lighter, faster, stronger, and smarter, boating gets even better and more satisfying for boaters like you. Looking for fun? Looking for excitement? Looking for great food? How about incredible shopping? Kima, Texas has it all. Whether you're looking for fun, food, or just a relaxing bayside getaway, Kima, Texas is the place to be. Kima, Texas, it's what you're looking for. It's the final day of the Elite Redfish Series in beautiful Kima, Texas at the Kima Boardwalk. And with the weather changing once again, the final five anglers will have to adjust and adapt. Every fish I see so far, they're eating this. Because the one who does Good could fish. walk away Good a champion. The Elite Redfish Tournament Series is presented by Skeeter Performance Fishing Boats, Yamaha Outboards, McLean Custom Trailers, Frog Tons, keeping the world dry since 1996, and many other fine sponsors. While day one and two leader Dwayne Esche was still running to his preferred fishing marsh, second place angler Jimmy Lloyd stayed close by, working a rock wall. Here we go. Even with an early start catching fish, he knows he'll still need some heavier weights to overcome the nearly five pound lead Dwayne has on the field. If I catch a keeper in the upper slot, it's at least a seven pound fish. If I can put some over 27s together, they're gonna be, they're gonna be eight and three quarter, nine and a quarter pound fish. It keeps them honest, it makes them have to catch them. And that's the whole, that's the whole game. Just make sure you get your fish, make sure he's gotta catch his fish especially since the third place angler is right behind him with less than three pounds separating them. Definitely see some stuff going on. One of the other local Texas anglers in the final five, Steve Ong, made a big leap on day two, moving from sixth into third. He's gonna miss Steve Ong. There you go, buddy. 
But will the familiarity he has with his home waters help him when the fishing gets tough? Come on, honey, hold on, let me down. Got it. Ah, it's a mullet. That's what these redfish are eating on. Good fish, good fish. Another local angler, and new to the no, Elite Series this off. year, Alan Hall has had a tough couple of days oh. on the Galveston Bay, despite being from the area. You know, there's so many things that you fight. Uh, number one, in, in my opinion, is getting the net. I lost two spectacular fish just going to get the net, and and lost pressure on them and they spit the hook. In the Elite Series, you're fishing against the best of the best, so every one of them counts. My plan A is fan casting, throwing popping corks and gulps, and whenever it's more calm around here, we stick to the rock system, open water schools, we can find them. I straight braid everything. Everything in the cork thing is braid. There he is. Good fish, good fish. Real good fish. Stay hooked up. That's what I'm looking for. Whoo! Hey. It's been a long morning. <laughs> been waiting on that. Let's see what he goes. Seven pounds. We'll take it. The exact spot I just caught that fish in. I can't tell you how many times in my tournament career that I've I've caught a fish within ten foot of where I just caught that one. Uh, we're gonna just check it a couple more times. See if there's another one in there. But yeah, I'm pumped. You got him. So will this become a battle of locals? Good fish. Or does Dwayne Eshe have an ace up his sleeve? Got lots of water fish, lots of fish. Just be patient, stay tuned. You think ours does that? Uh-uh. Auto stow and deploy, power trim, and your choice of iPilot or iPilot link. Hey. Altera from Minn Kota. We can't believe it either. We need to get one of those. Skeeter, setting the standard in the bay with unleashed reliability, power, ingenuity, and innovation. Skeeter Bay Boats have a distinctive V-shape, but also drafts very shallow, so you can get to the fish. Engineered like no other, our SX Series Bay Boats provide a smooth and reliable ride. Awarded 16 consecutive NMMA CSI Customer Satisfaction Awards. Visit your local Skeeter dealer and see why we set the standard in comfort and style in the bay. Pros depend on hydraulic jack plates to get the best out of their boats. Do what they do. Demand Atlas performance. Atlas gets you from the bottom to the top in less than eight seconds, even with the big four strokes. And when you gotta turn right around and get that heavy load back up in rough water, Atlas's innovative design and American-made components will get you there with confidence. I'm Ot Depot. Just look for yourself. There's an Atlas jack plate on just about every professional's boat. The Atlas hydraulic jack plate. You can depend on it. 
something a lot of people really don't think about when you start fishing, start major tournament fishing, is quality rain gear. I'm Andy Morgan, two-time FLW Unger of the Year. If I'm dry, I'm warm. If you're wet, you're cold. It gives me the mental edge every single time. That's why we wear the Pilot Guide Series of Frog Dogs. It's the third and final day of the Elite Redfish Series in Kima, Texas. Time is winding down for the final five pros and the pressure's on. I know they're here. It's just a matter of me waiting for the sun to come out and catching. Local knowledge of Galveston Bay has been helping Jimmy Lloyd, and he's put a few nice redfish in the well early. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's a good fish. Maybe be one we need right here, baby. How about that? Almost eight and a half. And with those fish, his confidence is building that he's doing the right thing. You start second guessing yourself when it's tough. You know, hey, am, am I doing the right thing? Should I be making a move? You just gotta go with your gut. Your gut typically is always right. That right there makes me feel good. Jake Jordan's had a challenging morning so far. I did break two big fish off this morning. It's tough, and especially with you got when you got such a strong, strong current. If the outgoing was a little slower and I could get to them, I think I could catch them. But it's it's moving so hard now, I got a half ounce weight on, I can't even get to the bottom. But he expects his pattern of deep jigging under boats and barges just might turn on for him later in the day as the tide shifts. They're hard to get to because of the barnacles, because of the structure. You just got to throw a heavy weight in there. The last two days, I've actually caught my fish within the last hour of each day. I don't think they're going to show up till a tide change, but when the tide change, I hope I'm there. There's fish. earliest fish I've caught yet. Jeez. Over eight on the boga. I just put my second one in the box. I haven't had a fish in the last two days before noon. And when I got him to the boat and seen him, I, I thought he has a chance to make it. And sure enough, he was a, he was a 27 incher upper end slot. Alan Hall has also decided to stay close to Galveston Bay and fish in water he knows well. I have these waters right here like the back of my hand. I have, a, I have a bunch of real comfortable spots that I can pull up to and fish, and if they're not there, they're not there. If they are, they are. He has a long way to go to move up from his fifth place start on the day, but things can turn around in a hurry. No way, no way, wow. Oh my god. Can you believe that? <laughs> Alright, eleven twenty-four. Had my first fish. It's eleven twenty-eight. I got number two. I can't believe that. The fish is about six and a half. We'll gladly take it. Meanwhile, Dwayne Ashe is wondering if the long run to the marsh is going to be worth the shortened fishing time. Those guys are staying local. They're going to have seven and a half hours to fish. I'm going to have three hours to fish. So I got to get it done in three hours 
where they're going to have a lot more opportunity to do what they're doing. A renowned and skilled sight fisherman, he prefers the clear, calm water of the marshes to locate and target schools of active feeding fish. What I'm doing is I'm actually seeing the fish, and I'm sight fishing them, and I'm tossing to them, and it's just a slow roll getting that bait in the front of the fish and getting a reaction strike. Just, you know, slow down, don't go fast, be patient. There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, he ate it! <laughs> there goes another one. That, my brother, might be a $15,000 fish. 27 inches, 27 inches, 27 inches. <laughs> Seven pounder, we could throw him back. Thank you. See you later, buddy. At Yamaha, reliability is a family tradition. Meet the next generation. Four new advanced technology inspired inline four cylinder performers. Bred from the reliability and boater satisfaction that is part of Yamaha's DNA. They prove that when power gets lighter, faster, stronger and smarter, boating gets even better. And more satisfying for boaters like you. Looking for fun? Looking for excitement? Looking for great food? How about incredible shopping? Kima, Texas has it all. Whether you're looking for fun, food, or just a relaxing bayside getaway, Kima, Texas is the place to be. Kima, Texas, it's what you're looking for. Skeeter, setting the standard in the bay with unleashed reliability, power, ingenuity, and innovation. Skeeter Bay Boats have a distinctive V shape, but also drafts very shallow so you can get to the fish. Engineered like no other, our SX Series Bay Boats provide a smooth and reliable ride. Awarded 16 consecutive NMMA CSI Customer Satisfaction Awards. Visit your local Skeeter dealer and see why we set the standard in comfort and style in the bay. With the final day's fishing complete out on Galveston Bay, the anglers make their way back to the Kima Boardwalk to weigh in. All of these pros give everything they have out on the water, but in the end, there can be only one champion. It'd be pretty cool to bring one home, bring one home to the Baytown boys. I figured if I was gonna win anything this year, it'd be, it'd be right here at home. For me to win this tournament, it's, it's a lifelong dream. It, it would mean a lot. I mean, it would make more self-accomplishment that I did it by myself versus with a partner. This is the best of the best right here. Let's see who our first one is that's going to be coming up. He's setting in fifth place. He was the last one to make the cut yesterday and slip in. Your online directional boring pro, Mr. Alan Hall. Come on, make some noise for him one more time. You ready, brother? Three fish, three alive. Now he needs 11.01. 11.01, take the lead. He's got 21.07. That's your leader, son. Woo! Put your hands together, Mr. Allen Hall. He's hammered him. That seat's got your name on it. That's the check it measuring system hot seat. And we're going to see how long he can stay in that hot seat. We're going to go to your fourth place finisher after two days of competition now. Put your hands together for your JH Performance Rods Pro, Mr. Jake Jordan. Come on now. He don't get to weigh in but two fish. One of the fish that he caught today through no fault of his own came in with a tail that was unacceptable. On just two fish, 1729, you're safer right now. Mr. Jake Jordan, what a good dude, good angler. I think I know who we got next. Hey folks, your iconic sportswear pro. He only needs 1799 to take the lead. Y'all put your hands together, boat number 11, Mr. Steve. Oh, come on now.
This is Mr. Steve Alls fish today right there. Ladies and gentlemen, he did zero. He had a tough day. Can you put your hands together? You only got two more to go. Can I, can I tell you a little something, though? What's that? This is a fishing term. Yeah. You fixing to get off in a little bit deeper water now. Oh, yeah. We're going to a little bit deeper We're water. We're getting to the best, best, the best. It's all the best, the best, but here comes the best, here, the best, here, the best. Yeah, here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, brother, here we go. We're ready for our second place qualifier after two days of competition. This is your Simmons Custom Rigging Pro, Mr. Jimmy Lloyd. Come on now, make some noise for Jimmy. All right, fantastic. Now, once they settle down, once they settle down, it wouldn't make no difference. He had 2138. That's your new leader, son. There you go, Jimmy Lloyd. Well, let's do this. Go shake his hand. Take your seat in the check it stick hot seat, Mr. Allen Hall. Great job, Allen. Right now you're in second place. Give Jimmy that check. Hey, Allen, great job. And then there was one. He's got 4864. He's 1661 behind the leader right now. This is your Yamaha Outboards Pro. All the way from Pearland, Texas, that sounds strange, Mr. Dwayne Esche. Come on now, make some noise. Jimmy, come on up. Stand up here. You know what? Somebody's fixing to notch their first win on the Elite Series. Somebody's fixing to notch it. It's so tough to come out here three days in a row. This ain't no one day thing. This ain't no get a lucky bite. In Louisiana, we're fishing for five fish. In Texas, three. This ain't no two fish one day. You gotta know what you're doing out here. Now, you need 1661. And Dwayne's total weight is 2436. There's your champion. Put your hands together. Dwayne Essay. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Dwayne's total is 73 pounds even for the three days of fishing. Put your hands together. When I came over here, my goal was to catch one fish, get points, and go home. But to win it by yourself, it's, it's emotional. It's, it's over exceeding my expectations. I mean, it was phenomenal. Please visit us at theredfishseries.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook.